I think you're telling a porky there, fella. Now I've got that out of my system. Just trying to create a little bit of drama there on the old weekly vlog. Room for activities. Anyway, I hope you lot are all well. It is super early this morning and I have already been to Primark. I was there just after eight o'clock to take something back um, and may have also picked up another bag and just about to go into my first meeting at quarter to nine. As my eye bags will probably indicate to you, I have been up since 5 a.m. and a little bit super snoozy, but feeling, feeling productive today. Today is no longer productive. There's so much I need to do and it is currently quarter to six. I'm just putting water on myself. I'm off to Southwall tomorrow for a couple of days and um, I need to pack my bag. I've got the girls coming over for dinner tonight about seven-ish and uh, where I was in a good headspace, I am no longer in a good headspace and I want to take this laptop and throw it out the freaking window. Huh. Now I've got that out of my system, we'll crack on. So I reckon if I can just do what I've got to do in another 15 minutes till six, um, and I can go and prep dinner and get changed. Anyway, I hope you lot are all well. I'm missing the sunshine already. But mushroom grumble, the rain is good for the grass. Oh my gosh, I look tired. Did I tell you I had my hair done Monday last week? I can't remember. When I had my hair done. And whilst I was there, I picked up a couple of things, which I washed my hair with this morning. So at Hairsmiths in Norwich, they've got a new range called Mr. Smith, which I'm pretty sure is one of the most Instagrammable shampoos I've ever seen in my entire life. Comes in this awesome little bag as well. Ooh. So I've got the hydrating shampoo, thank you Hairsmiths for that. And then uh, to kind of, I have washed my hair today, not that it looks like it after getting caught in the rain. And, and then I've also picked up the Label M uh, Cool Blonde Conditioner, which I used for the first time today. I like it, however, I do feel like I've got a lot on my hair, but I think it's because I did put a lot on my hair, if that makes sense. I think I just chucked it on like a shampoo, was that actually you don't need that much conditioner, do you? I just want to kind of fill you in on my current shampoo conditioner situation. You right, Kat? Right, I'm gonna go and uh, judge myself up, put something a little bit more attractive on to wear before the girls get here in approximately 15 minutes. Actually, just to interrupt proceedings there, I don't think I filled you in on what Scott is doing today or this week. So he's away at the moment in Wales and he's just randomly climbing a couple of mountains. But look at his little face, he's just sent me a picture. Look at that little face, looks a little bit wet and soggy, bless him. Not sure if he's having fun or not. Welcome to my Wednesday, pretty sure it's Wednesday, Wednesday. I spent all yesterday thinking it was uh, Wednesday, but it was Tuesday. Extras in my Granola. I'm off to Southwold today, uh, which is nice, because I enjoy Southwold, but it's a shame because Scott's back tonight, so I won't see him until tomorrow, and I feel like we've got quite a lot to catch up on, so um, a bit of a shame I'm not gonna be seeing him until tomorrow night. I had a really nice time last night with the girls. A mixture of girls I went to school with and some that I've kind of come friends with along the way. So it was a really nice night actually. It did feel weird last night staying here by myself. Well, I've got the cat, but she's not going to protect me from anything. I do look super tired because it is quite late and it's been a very long day. This evening I'm staying at the Plough in Wangford and I've never stayed here before and it's actually surprisingly quite cute. And so this is the oversized entrance hall and then straight ahead we have the bathroom. Ooh, giant four-man shower and a bath and room for activities. And then back through here, we have, oh, is it a lounge? Is it a bedroom? Who knows? Is it a double room? Is it a single room? Is it a twin? Who knows and who cares because there's room for activities. There's a little window out here. We don't know what this looks out over to because it's dark. I guess we'll find out in the morning. Mm -hmm. 
Well, today's turning out to be pretty good because I've just found a Starbucks in the middle of nowhere and a drive through Starbucks at that. Not that I've used the drive through Starbucks and it's not really in the middle of nowhere because technically it's between Aylsham and North Walsham which is a pretty main road. But it's very handy for me. Well, when I'm in this area anyway. So I haven't used the drive through because I'm in my scruffs because I made a delivery this morning. So um, I need to change my top and my trainers into heels for my meeting in about half an hour. Before I go and get changed though, I do need to tell you about this absolute cretin of a man that I saw earlier. So I was loading my car up and he was sat in another car and I was making her to do 17 trips backwards and forwards um, for what I was doing. And he was just sat in a car in front. He wound his window down and he said, you won't believe this love, I used to pay for a girl like you. Oh, delightful, thanks for that. Anyway, when I went back and then came back past again, he said, you can find me on the Millionaire's Dating website. Hmm, by the way you smell and the state of your rankness and your car, I think you're telling a porky there, fella. Hey, how you doing? I have been super productive today and have just filmed to massive halls, which I do now need to go and edit because I would like to put one up tomorrow morning and another one up next weekend, I think. So I've got a bunch of clothes to take back now because they didn't fit. Absolutely gutted that this long dress from Zara didn't. It's about an inch too small around the waist. <laughs> Fatty McFatterson Laura. I think I've pretty much got my kind of summer wardrobe nailed now. Right, that one's got to go in there and go back. So I need to also arrange going into the city at some point to return a, a lot of this stuff. Just wanted to kind of say sorry for um, not really vlogging much this week at all really. I don't think I have. Well, no, not much at all. It's just been an absolutely manic week with work and whilst this is my hobby, work and what pays the bills comes first. Um, so I've just been absolutely just face planted into work and got all of that stuff done, which is great because it does mean that I am feeling pretty organised. As long as too much doesn't come in over the weekend, I think I'm going to have a good week next week, which will be grand. I'm just going to go and pop all these clothes away. I'm going to put my camera on charge because it is flashing at me. I'm gonna go and finish popping all this lot away and then I'm gonna crack on with the editing. I'm gonna make myself a very large cup of mint tea I think after eating fish and chips last night feeling pretty rank. Oh my goodness I almost just fell asleep on the sofa then that was really weird. I was just sat typing away on my MacBook and I could just feel my eyes going like this but I don't know why it is oh crap it's quarter to five where is today gone? Man, I am like snoozy now. I'm just editing uh, haul number one of which I filmed, so I've done two. Um, and just editing that. Scott's working till seven, so I'm gonna go and, I need to go and do, oh God, I need to go and do the supermarket run. Oh my God, how boring. So I need to go and do that on the way really to go and pick him up. Um, yeah, oh. I can't believe it's quarter to five. I don't know what I have done with the day, apart from sit here next to old snoozy floozy over there. You right, snoozy floozy? She's well grumpy. Okay, plan of attack is quarter to five. Finish editing this by quarter past five. Get the shopping list written. Decide what to have for dinner. Um, probably fanny around. No, I need to leave her about six, really. Christ, I haven't got long, but I'm gonna crack back on. Hi and bye. It's the Primark haul. Just to prove it, here is my giant bag. In fact, I don't just have one giant bag. Giant bag, cute thumbnail shot. Let's get in to the bags. Shopping and online ordering is always fun and games until you gotta return everything that doesn't fit. What an absolute pain in the ass. I am rocking tonight, boatyard chic. Everyone's gonna see me coming. I feel a little bit, um, I know what you did last summer. Although I'm saying that, I've never actually watched that movie because it sounds scary. Right, everything locked up. All right, I'm gonna go now, pick scottles up from work and do the food shop. I'm gonna go to Aldi in a bid to save money because we spend far too much money on food. So, Aldi, Hermes store, Scott, home. Aldi done, got to head now to drop off my Hermes parcel. 
um, for my Depop stuff, and then go and get Scar. My fingers have gone white, I look like a dead person. It's actually pretty chilly out here. How chilly is it, in fact? I'll pop you up there. Okay, it is. Eight degrees. It feels way colder than eight degrees. Hermes done. Now I've got 10 minutes to get across the city to get Scott. Will I make it when I make it? He can wait if I'm running late because I ain't rushing for no one. Just trying to create a little bit of drama there on the old weekly vlog. Here was time to spare, so I think I might throw some shapes for a while. Mr. Jam's on. I don't really know the words this one, so I'm just gonna do my thing. Finger update, I have feeling back in most fingers, apart from this one, that one's still dead. Oh, so annoying. Warm up. Scott, when you watch this, what I would like to know is, when are we gonna go and watch the new Avengers movie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey Siri, text Scott Wright. Hey, I'm in the assembly house car park. Or you can say, hey, I'm in the assembly house car park if you prefer. Ah, <laughs> oh, Siri, you joker. Do you want tea, honey? Found these new biscuits in Tesco's yesterday. Crunchy, oh, crunchy, melty middle things. Oh, you warm them up in the microwave. Oh, do you want in now? Do you want one? Place one cookie on a paper plate or napkin. We've got paper plates and napkins up there. One for 10 to 12 seconds. You don't like gooey. Try it. I'll try it with you. No, will you? You're such a hero. Interesting, Cadbury's. Interesting. Oh. I was expecting them to be, to be like soft, like doughy, like a cookie. No, um, yeah, like your cookie there. Yeah. Mm, that was a bit close up, sorry. Disappointing. Yeah, it's nice. But they remind me of something, but I don't know what. They're very crunchy, and they are going in the middle. Ridiculous turn of events. I'm wearing a scarf. It's six degrees outside. We're going bowling. Can you see me? No. I can see you now. Jacket. 